I'm Renee McLaughlin and I'm a master TTAP trainer. I've been teaching TTAP for almost 12 years now. So just because I've worked with so many people, I really have a pretty good understanding of how to get the very best out of this workout. And so today, I wanted to do this video because I received an email from someone that said, Hey Renee, I've been reading and watching all these success stories on that TTAP website, and I'm curious, come on, really tell me, can you really do that TTAP workout and not change your eating? Really? And get those kind of results? That is a great question, and quite frankly, one that I get a lot. And you know, here's how I'm going to answer that. Yes, and maybe not so much, right? Because we're all so different. We're all in different places. We're all different ages. We all have different amounts of muscle versus fat on our bodies. We're all at different hormonal levels, and we all have our own, sort of we're in our own place as to how our bodies are really working and utilizing the nutrients that we eat. So when I'm going to talk about this, the first thing I want to say is, listen, let's just be honest here. You cannot eat a bunch of crap and think that you can just tea tap it away. It doesn't work that way. So a lot of the people that you're going to see on that website that got amazing results and they say that they didn't really change what they're eating, you don't really know what they were eating. Now do we? We don't. And what I find is, you know, when you do some really intense working out, whether you're doing a really intense Zumba class, you're doing that P90X or whatever, those are intense workouts. And when you do those, your hunger level goes up. In some cases, it goes up a lot, right? So you start to eat a lot more food. And I think it's one of the reasons that people will say to me, I can't believe it, I am doing this intense exercise, and I'm not losing any weight. Then I switch, and I start doing T-tap, and I find myself the inches just coming off. Now, why is that? It doesn't make any logical sense. And I think one of the reasons is because with T-tap, it's intense, but it's intense in a different way. You're pumping your lymph, you're engaging your muscles, so you're really getting into a fat burning place, okay, but you're not activating your body's hunger levels. So I find when I do T-tap, I really want to eat cleaner and more healthy. I'd love for you, any of you who are tappers, to come onto this blog, give me some comments, tell me if you found the same thing. Do you find when you start to T-tap that you just want to eat cleaner? You don't want to be putting crap in as you're pumping the lymph and pumping the crap out. You know, we have a saying in T-tap that one of my dear, dear friends, Lisa Moretti, says, and that is, if you want to fudge the pudge, you got to pump the sludge. Why would you want to pump the sludge and then put it right back in? Try it. Let me know what you think. That's kind of my thought process on it. Thanks. Have a great day. Go get out that DVD and start doing your T-tap workout. Bye.